Your Physical Geography, Part 2, The Climate. So we'll discuss climates um, in this and different physical processes. I'll spend a little bit of time on, on physical processes, just doing a quick recap on that. So as we move forward, let's take a look at it. Um, the first thing, I want you guys to draw your attention or to focus your attention onto the picture and what this is, this illustration is of a, of a climatic zone map of Europe. And one thing I want you guys just very briefly um, to, to focus your attention on is the fact that the temperatures in Western Europe tend to be warmer, I'm sorry, yeah, warmer than the temperatures in Eastern Europe, except for this area, which, is the, which are the Alps Mountains. And I will get into that. Uh, very briefly with you, or this uh, we'll get into that very briefly with you. Actually, and it's the Alps are here and in here. So most of the Alps mountain range, so except for in this area in the Alps mountain range, um, the temperatures tend to be warmer in Western Europe. So the European climates, they vary according to distance from the sea. And what you'll see, what I pre I'm just mentioned is that countries that are closer uh, to warm Atlantic Ocean currents generally have milder climates. When we say milder climates, that just means that um, it's not as humid as it is here. Um, the temperatures are a little bit, it does not get quite as hot in the summer as it does here, but it does get a little colder. So just think about that when we discuss milder or Mediterranean climates. We mean somewhere where it's not as humid, nowhere near as humid as, as we experience here in Louisiana. Um, also, the winters are a little colder and the summers are not quite as hot. So sounds like a pretty nice temperature, pretty nice climate. Um, much of Western Europe has a marine coast climate, which means they have mild winters, cool summers, and abundant rainfall. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean's Gulf Stream, called the North Atlantic Drift, brings warm water and air from the Gulf of Mexico. And I want to stop right here and kind of go over something really quickly. Just kind of review. First thing I want to review is just with you guys is what is climate, right? And if we go back to first semester, you know that climates are, gen are the weather patterns for a place um, over a given period of time. So for a given period of time, we mean years, the weather pattern. This is what the weather has been consistently like in Europe. Also, though, there is one of your homework learning targets, or you might even have two, that deals with physical processes and how they affect um, Europe or how they affect the people of Europe and very quickly um, just kind of go back to that from the first semester physical processes are anything basically that occurs in nature or actions that occur in nature so when we discuss things like the water cycle with the evaporation condensation all of those things we discuss um, the wind cycle with the different winds with the different types of winds that we discussed the easterlies the westerlies the doldrums all of those the major wind cycle um, things that occur with wind we also discussed like weathering erosion um, plate tectonics all of those things are physical processes okay so when we um, mention your learning target mentions physical processes it means how do those things how do those any of those things um, wind, plate tectonics, weathering, erosion, um, the water cycle. How do these things affect the people of Europe? And I will give you two quick examples and then we can move forward of things that we've already mentioned in these videos. The first example was in the first video, I mentioned how glaciers um, use the physical process of weathering and erosion and how that physical process changed the mountain ranges in northern Europe as a result of the last ice age. Um, the glaciers in this area, the glaciers that were here, eroded the mountains down so they're not as rugged. The mountains in northern Europe are not as rugged as the mountain ranges that you see in southern Europe. That is one example. The second example is what I just mentioned. Uh, the North Atlantic Drift, the Gulf Stream, the North Atlantic Drift, it brings warm weather from the Gulf of Mexico, from where we are, to Western Europe, and it helps have that temperature, it helps raise the temperature of Western Europe. So those are just two quick examples of how physical processes have affected Europe or how they have affected the people of Europe. And I'll move, I will try to um, highlight those again as we go through the video. Now back to this. 
um, forests in this region, in this moderate temperature region, they include different varieties of dicotyledons and evergreen trees, and those are just green trees similar to what we see around here. This is another climate zone of Europe, a climate map of the continent of Europe, and just kind of what we want to see or just recognize or highlight is that the, Alp the Alps Mountains, they have a highlands, and so they are climate with colder temperatures, and if you guys remember uh, from first semester, the reason why you have higher temperatures in mountain areas is that as or mountain areas or places with the high elevation is that as you go higher into the um, atmosphere, there are less greenhouse gases. And greenhouse gases are the things that capture sunlight and are the gases that capture sunlight and warmth from the sun. And so as we have less greenhouse gases, um, it's colder, so you experience a cooler temperature. So the temperatures in mountains and areas and high and uh, places with high elevations tend to be colder than they will be in low-lying areas. Most of Southern Europe has Mediterranean climate with warm, dry winters and mild, rainy winters with warm, dry summers and mild, uh, rainy winters. And the Alpine Mountains, or the Alps Mountains, they block Atlantic winds so that less rain falls in southern Europe than in northwestern Europe. And this can be another example of physical processes or how physical processes affect uh, Europe or the people of Europe. First, the first physical process in this example would, of course, be plate tectonics that occurred to create the Alps Mountains. And the second example of the physical process uh, would be the moist Atlantic winds that are blocked and these winds, um, the blocking of these winds prevent southern Europe, these areas from experiencing the same amount of rainfall that northwestern Europe experiences. Now the eastern and northern areas of Europe, we mean here and here, they have a humid continental climate with cold snowy winters and hot summers so we just got we mean the Scandinavians we mean um, Iceland Norway Sweden Finland Poland Ukraine all of these areas will fit into that now the summer and, win and winter temperatures here in these areas in the northern and eastern Europe are they're very they vary pretty much so they very wildly so in some places you have very cold temperatures and in other places uh, you have very extremely cold in the negatives uh, winters and then in other places you'll have warm summers almost with the same time similar heat that we experience here now grasslands uh, we mentioned that and you saw that in some of in the last video grasslands cover much of Europe and as a result of the grasslands that cover much of Eastern Europe um, it may of course you see a lot of people settling there that's where a lot of European cities are large major European cities because of fertile land and the forests are mixed and when we say mixed that means with different types of, of um, vegetation now the far northern parts of Scandinavia they feature um, sub Arctic and tundra climates which means that basically it gets very cold in these parts and in Iceland the winters are bitterly cold and the summers are sh short and cool you want to think about when we discuss the temperatures in it um, just to give you a frame of reference in Alaska in northern Canada or some certain parts of the northern United States all right you guys remember to highlight the answers to your homework learning targets and also to answer the questions in bold lettering on your notes guide the end have a great day. I'll see you in class.